So this is just a quick video to catch people up on some of the criticism I've received for filing the DMCA complaint that I did. Um, if you haven't watched the last video on this, please go back to that video um, and watch that, read the comments, then come back to this one. One, two, three. Okay, you're back. So, um, first I want to respond to some of the claims that this particular blogger made. Um, one of them was that this is an attempt to suppress political speech. Um, the portion of video that he stole from me out of a very larger video is still up. And in fact, when I uploaded it, I said skip to 9 minutes 30 seconds. And that's exactly where he stole video from me from. And then he took it and he put subtitles on it, which basically said what people were saying. Um, and then he slapped his own website name on the end as if he had shot the footage as if he owned it uh, with no attribution whatsoever. Um, so, yeah, this isn't uh, suppressing political speech. In fact, there's a, a method to make a link. Just right-click on, on the timeline on this video right here. Right-click on it, and you'll say, uh, copy link to this time signature on the video. You, YouTube has that. So he could have embedded with people being able to start at 9 minutes and 30 seconds of my video, just like he's embedding from somebody else's video right now on his blog, because uh, there were other cameras at this event. Um, and he's not stealing their video, he's actually embedding from their YouTube channel. But he's not using my video to do this now, because my video goes longer, and it actually shows how Governor Hickenlooper it starts to address the 99% crowd and agree with some of their issues. So he doesn't want that part. On his blog, he just wants uh, the the little snippet that uh, you know tries to prove his point. I guess that's all right. Fuck it. Um, let's see. <sighs> what else, what other uh, criticisms have I gotten um, from 101 101B? He said that or she, I don't know. Um, said that I w was doing something wrong, but uh, uh, he or she is backing me. And um, no, I don't want to be backed if I am doing something wrong. In fact, I made the video telling people that I had just filed a DMCA, which I didn't have to because this person that I filed it against isn't part of the, the community on YouTube that uh, would normally find out about this. You know, I could have tried to keep it a secret, you know, you know, keep it hidden, but I decided, you know what? Maybe it'd be a good thing for me to have people critique what I am doing and tell me what might be wrong about what I'm doing. You know, because this is horrible shit. You know, I know that there's probably DMCA purists out there who say, don't ever use it at all, you know, let alone abuse it. Just don't ever use it, you know? And I can't be one of those purists anymore, you know? I, I was trying my hardest to be one of those. And it just came to the point where... <sighs> yeah, here I am. Um, so, <sighs> Gabiata also uh, claimed that uh, even though I have good reasons that uh, he felt like um, I might be doing this because it's uh, somebody who's politically uh, different than I am. And, and I respect Patch. Um, and I like that he brought it up. You know, just, you know, that, that should be investigated about me. That's why I made the, the video and said, you know, look at what I have done and look where this is going. You know, people give me feedback. Um, no, this was not about it being political. In fact, I disagree with many things that the uh, Occupy protesters do. Um, I I made the the face I made the flash mob sign up on their website for Occupy Colorado Springs, occupycs.org, 
And that flash mob is there because I actually see the occupation part of the Occupy Wall Street movement as a cost that is kind of uh, unnecessary when we can get the same amount of political exposure from one event like what happened to Governor Hickenlooper in this video that uh, was stolen from me. You know, uh, and that flash mob sign up email list was used in conjunction with this event. And I, I just put up a video last night uh, about when a Tea Party rally organizer came to a General Assembly and invited people to uh, come to his Tea Party rally, which was supposed to be today, but it got canceled because of snow like one or two inches and you know the the occupy protesters showed up but they didn't um so in that video where he's inviting the occupy protesters to come to his rally uh some of those occupy protesters are not uh very civil and they don't reflect well upon the entire movement but i put the video up there anyway because it's the truth I've been documenting this as the truth rather than trying to, you know, put snips here and there so that people can see what happened, you know, and, and how this is working. I really do value, you know, whether th something is good or bad, if an incident happens, it needs to be out there for people to see. So... Um, him being politically against me? No, that was not uh, a reason why I have uh, done this to him. It's because he stole my footage and then slapped his own website's name on the end and gave no attribution. Now, on his blog, he's actually saying that hours before he got DMCA'd, he added links. Well, uh, I filed it around 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Uh, it went through around 4 where I got the email from YouTube saying that it was pulled. And during those two hours, uh, and for an hour before that, I was talking with Brian J. 1962, Nicotine in Silence, and Inventor Gorilla, all three in a Skype call. All three of them left comments on his video saying, uh, that's horrible that you stole this other journalist's footage without attribution. They peppered his video with those comments. And all the way up until it got pulled, it did not have any attribution, not a in-video link, not a link in the description. So he is lying about that. And I have witnesses to that because they were leaving comments on his video saying, Hey, fucker, you stole his footage. Why, why are you stealing like that? You know, this isn't fair use. So, yeah. I think that's all the criticisms that uh, I've gotten, um, and I've addressed them. Um, 101, 101B, I want to know exactly what you mean by I did something wrong, uh, wh however you feel. Just comment below or point me to some other video. Um, and the 10 people who down-thumbed the video so far versus the 20 people who up-thumbed it, um, please... Leave a comment telling me why you think what I did was wrong. If you're a DMCA purist, that's you could just write DMCA purist, and and I'll understand that uh, you disagree with the way it's written, and you, we should never use it. And um, I had considered considered being that way myself until I got stolen from so many times, and I've had so many uh, news sources like local news channels steal my video play it on their own station as if it's their video you know and no attribution whatsoever um krdo actually became better at this and when they stole anonymous houston's footage they just they, they put youtube as the uh attribution because they sent him an email but he was actually out at the protest and he didn't get it in time and they you know they had to run their story so they they, they put YouTube on it uh, prior to running the story 
and then they, they put it on their website and then it he had a chance to email, email them back and everything and say you know put you know YouTube slash anonymous Houston as the attribution they have they haven't changed anything you know their their uh, post on their site is still the same news thing that says YouTube and every time I've complained about this in a video and sent them the video um, they have not changed anything of a previous broadcast. They just put up the old video. You know, and they don't put it in the web page where you can find the video. Hey, this came from this YouTuber. Um, CS Indie actually is the best. Um, Colorado Springs Independent, but it's uh, csindie.com. Just uh, last week... They used uh, a video embed from me, and they put my name and my YouTube channel and everything, and, and uh, the guy was reporting basically on the exact same thing that I had just written on the examiner, but, um, you know, at least I got a whole bunch of attribution for it. So, and, and if people were to expand the video and go to my YouTube channel, my examiner article was right in the description, so... I felt a lot better about that than a lot of the news channels that have been just stealing footage left and right. Um, because it is hard work to go out there and film it and come back and, and put the videos up and then have to have it stolen and people slap their own logo on it. It pisses me off, you know? Oh, and somebody else uh, left a comment. Uh, sorry if I forgot your name because I don't want to look at it right now. But uh, somebody said, well, why don't you put watermarks on your uh, footage? Um, where I would put the watermark normally so it wouldn't uh, interrupt anything else or, or affect the HD quality of the videos. Um, people can just put their own logo right on top of it, you know, to steal. And it wouldn't really be a deterrence and... You could put like a huge watermark over, over your entire video, but then you're destroying the video footage to me. So, um, yeah, sometimes I have put little uh, logos for me, for the Agent of Doubt channel, um, right here. But I just don't want to ruin my footage, you know, by doing that. Okay, so, if you think that I did something wrong and you want me to know why I am wrong, comment. Down thumbs tell me nothing. I've been talking with uh, a whole bunch of people in a giant Skype call that's now called Where's My Mushroom Brian Damn It? Um, it's got like 20 people in it, but uh, especially Wolfwing1. He's upset that people down thumb and don't tell him why they disagree. They just down thumb. And then, you know, there's people who will unsubscribe and not tell you why. I have like over 500 ups unsubscriptions from my channel right now uh, over the lifetime of it. And maybe 10 people have told me why they were unsubscribing, you know. <laughs> and... If you disagree with someone and, and you want them to agree with you, you need to tell them why you disagree so that the, they can at least consider uh, why they disagree with you. And that's it. I'm going to go to the store to buy some new doors for the house to make it so that uh, the sound quality is a bit cleaner on these recordings and you don't get spillover from televisions in the next room. <laughs>